Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. It's the morning time, and I haven't had coffee yet. My name is Corey, and I live in the lone town of Puyallup, Washington. A little bit about myself. I enjoy art. I enjoy music. Oh, man, look at my life. I'm 24 and so much more. I enjoy reading. I enjoy my girlfriend. I love you, baby. And for those of you who don't know, I actually teach guitar. Here are one of my business cards. There will be a link in the description for that um, if you're interested in taking lessons from me. Okay, so slight problem. Everybody, don't panic. It's okay. It's okay. We have to go to school. Okay, so we have to go to school. Okay, so we just arrived at school. Uh, it's a very cold, very cold day today. One of the many things I enjoy about going to school are the trees. As you can see here while I'm staggering like a drunk, it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is like one of the coolest things about Pierce College is it's basically, it was built in a wood. And so all of the sweet views that I was showing you just a second ago, um, they're pretty awesome. But in our new arts building, on the second floor, there's a couple of rehearsal rooms where there are some pianos and electric keyboards and everything like that. But a couple of them are against the wall, and so you get this really cool view. We are now leaving school because I am done with both of my classes for the day. See how quick that was? That was, that was just painless. Not for me. I used to have a problem with reading and I couldn't read a lot, but then I met a girl in high school. She was funny, she was smart. Oh wait, what? Are those? Yeah! Those are some of the novels written by New York Times bestselling author John Green. In the early stages of our relationship, we began to read a book. This book in particular. The Fault in Our Stars. Just a little synopsis about that book. It's written in the point of view of the main character, Hazel Grace Lancaster, who is a cancer-stricken teen. As many people know, one of the things that come with any kind of disease, not just cancer, uh, is support group. So Hazel goes to the support group, and one night, unexpectedly, she meets a boy with only one leg due to osteosarcoma. This boy's name was Augustus Waters. So the book is basically their story, and I'm going to let them tell it, so I'll leave a link in the description so that you can go buy that book, because it's one of the greatest books I've ever read in my entire life. It possibly, it's probably number one. All right, I'm back home. So you're probably wondering why this book is so significant to this project. The reason why is because I think both the author and his readers have done something very substantial to help the planet that we live on. In 2007, John Green, along with his brother Hank, started a video blog. That video blog now has a ginormous fan base or community also called the Nerdfighters. So we Nerdfighters have a mission statement, and that mission statement is to decrease world suck. So that means basically all of our charity is to make the world suck less. If you're an avid YouTuber, then you know about the Project for Awesome, which is a day of Nerdfighters taking over YouTube, and basically they make videos to talk about their favorite charity. Now other than Nerdfight Terry, there have been many other communities that have been built up by Hank and John, and we owe that gratitude to them. Now some of you may know, Hank and John recently had a show at Carnegie Hall, which is amazing. That is, that's, that's great. And one of the things that was mentioned during this Evening of Awesome, as it was called, is the fact that Nerdfighters collaborate. Now this is exactly why I want to start a video blog, is because I want to collaborate with Ned and I want to make art and I want to make music just like Hank and John did for everyone else. So this is how it is going to work. So I'm going to make a video once a week. Every video has to be under five minutes. If there is a failure to do this, there will either be a punishment or a challenge. If you've seen Brotherhood 2.0 or Vlogbrothers or any Hank and John videos, you understand what this means. Basically, if it's not illegal, it's not going to hurt me or somebody else, I'll probably do it. Now, just like in Vlogbrothers, John and Hank gave their wives veto power. So that means Brittany, my girlfriend, is going to have veto power over your challenges and your punishments. So keep that in mind. Also, obviously, I am new at this. So if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, anything that you would like to tell me, please leave it in the comments. I would really appreciate that. So on a final note, I would like to thank John, and I would like to thank Hank, and I would like to thank Terrier and everyone involved in that community, but most importantly, I would like to thank Brittany. Because, babe, if you didn't show me that book, I wouldn't have wanted to do this. So, thank you. And I love you. Okay, so is that it? Yeah, I guess so. So tell me how I did in the comments, please, 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 in the comments. Let's start collaborating.